It's the 12th of February. We're in on the trail yesterday. We had heavy rains this winter over the last couple of days. Washed her the snow. We were actually able to get in for a couple of days. We're going to get more snow this week, so we probably won't ever get back in there this winter until spring. I found some fish uh, somebody dumped. Uh, there's no birds or anything that I ate, it, which I thought was telling. So I'm just going to jump into it. I've done a lot of editing to get rid of the heavy breathing. <laughs> and um, squeeze the video down to whatever was necessary. And we'll see everybody tomorrow night for the regular show. It's at 6 a.m. We're all packed up and ready to go, baby. It's windy and raining yeah. on and off. On February the 11th, uh, 2022. Let's uh, do a quick check on the couple cables. We're going to go down to the gas station, top up gas, top up the gas. Let's go for it. Let's go. Woo! Slippery and dark. That's a good combination, is it? Come on, baby, you can stop. <laughs> So we're going to go back to Placentia Junction, I guess, and then head east and just meander along looking for any type of species. Any type of species will do. we got to go down and get some gas here. And it's a nasty morning. We got the gear though, we're dressed for it, but it's a nasty morning. <laughs> okay, we're headed out. I got some gas for the bike. There's supposed to be a shortcut up here somewhere. It's uh, five after six, something like that. Give or take a few seconds. I hope I find something today. Even if it's just scat, as long as I find something. <laughs> this is it, according to the GPS. Thank you, GPS. And so, we gotta get on the trail this morning at dark, hopefully, or just to break a day late. About an hour's drive. We're, we never got away from town yesterday until 7 p.m. at the gas station, right? This morning it was 5 after 6 at the gas station. Looks good. Feels good about this morning. We're going to see something this morning. Japan has got done to our only planet and the nuclear industry, I should say, really. You can't really blame Japan for the nuclear industry. But you can blame them for not uh, understanding how much trouble stupid nuclear power can jeopardize the entire planet and all the species. That's something we gotta think about. So we got 10 miles punched in. And yesterday we can see everything. Today we see nothing because it's dark. <laughs> so I see Taiwan. Is majorly in the news yesterday and that one of the political parties is saying how can we protect the children from Fukushima food and Fukushima's isotopes which is a narrative we never really heard coming out before from any country and it's because Taiwan is just gonna lift the ban on food right 
So there's the ocean. Yesterday, it was literally daylight as we came through here. And so this is great news. We're, we've covered a lot of distance and the sun is... Uh, so we'll get over there before the sun gets up over the horizon which is exactly what I was hoping for this morning. It's just February 11th, 2022. Uh, pretty burnt out from yesterday, I noticed. Because we done the show on Wednesday. I only got probably two hours sleep and then I had to get up and ended up having to rewire the lights, which I smashed at the end of the day anyway. <laughs> I never got to sleep till one o'clock this morning and I had to get up four hours later. All right, that's the Trans-Canada Highway coming up. Right away. There's the GPS telling me, slow down, Dana. Yeah, that's uh... awesome timing it's a miserable wet morning my goodness looks good this is perfect no traffic there's a lot of sand trucks this morning my goodness but you too big boy right there a little bit of traffic so cell phones, they brighten up the, um, the image. It's, it looks brighter than what it actually is. All right. So it's about eight kilometers, nine kilometers up here. So we'll be on the trail before it's actually fully daylight. That's cool. Because animals like to get out and go early in the morning. And people don't. And so... Hopefully more animals than people. It's going to be a wet day on the trail today, baby. All the potholes are going to get us today. Wow. Buddy, you're riding my ass that time. That's a bit silly. So we're on our spot at 7, oh, 7 a.m. So all that blue is ponds, right? All the blue is ponds. So... A lot of them were open up this morning. They weren't open up yesterday. You can hear the wind blowing pretty good. Let's get after it. Alrighty. It's around 7.30 a.m. And uh, we're headed out uh, east. Everything looks good. Let's go. Alrighty, we are two kilometers, 1.8 kilometers away from the truck. We're 50 kilometers away from home. I feel good. We're going to see a bird or at least one rabbit today. There's one bird, one rabbit. Is it a crime to want to see a bird? Apparently so. No reason we can't see a bird today except for Fukushima, I suppose. So this would normally be a prime spot for some birds, right? And, uh moose and rabbits and everything else. Oh, that was a little bird. 
Look at that. Holy shit. That's probably uh, the nuclear industry got a drone bird out here to screw with me. That can't be real. Wow. We're pretty close to the community behind me, but that's impressive. It's like our third bird of the year, is it? That was awesome. That was friggin' amazing. Now we see no birds in the skies, of course. These birds don't fly anymore, they just jump from tree to tree. And we're in the biggest migratory path on the planet. And there's uh, 370 residential birds for this province that are here year round. Well, they were. That was cool, we seen one bird. Mission accomplished, we found our bird. That's pretty good, let's go home I suppose. It was a little itty tiny bitty bird, I never can't tell you what it actually was, but but this area, these marshes, these are prime areas. Well they were. Fukushima put an end to that nonsense. The nuclear industry is like, we don't need birds on the planet. We need small modular reactors, Dana. Oh, there's a little river over there. I don't see nothing. Am I gonna walk over there, I wonder, this morning? Looks kinda hostile to me. Yeah, too much water. If I try walking over there, I'll be wet feet for the rest of the day. Where, oh, where can the birds be? The nuclear industry is taking them away from me. Now we're supposed to get a dusting of snow for the next week. And somewhere in the next few days you're going to get five centimeters. You won't get back out here maybe till the spring, right? So you probably won't get this opportunity again, so we're really lucky we jumped on it. I feel lucky. Do you feel lucky? Uh... 9.2 kilometers. We just seen a little marten or a little weasel cross the path in front of me. So that's we seen a little bird already today, and I'm not sure if it was a little pine marten or a little weasel. So that's um, it's an hour and 15 minutes, and we traveled. 9.2 kilometers from the truck. We're just barely crawling along, looking way ahead, and uh, I'm stopping the quad. Um, regularly and listening to the forest. Going slow is hard, eh? It's so hard to go four, five, six kilometers an hour. It's easy to give it a shot of gas and go 10 or 15. Anyway, uh, there's a couple of fish dumped there, but uh, nothing touched, nothing ate it. What's the odds of that? What's the odds of finding fish? And you can see what from that there was no damage to it. We're at 16 kilometer. We just seen a little tiny bird with its, uh, white under its wings. And kind of a bluish gray body, a very, very small, tiny bird. Uh, by himself, 
So that was cool. So that's two birds in one day. And 60 kilometers. Only in Canada. So we're at 29 kilometers, almost 30 I guess. And I'll um, we'll go another couple of kilometers and uh, head back I guess. So we went west yesterday, today we're going east. So nuclear is nobody's friend. So you can imagine driving along. And uh, at night time and driving down into that sucker. And so this path was uh, covered in snow until a couple of days ago. It's been about a month since anybody's been able to drive out here. These washers, this is the fourth one today. Okay. I just turned around. We got uh, almost 41 kilometers in. That's the original uh, railway. It's not something you're going to see every day. I've been out here doing this for a couple of years. It's the first time I've seen any railway tracks. I, for 40 kilometers of hell. What a horrible road, man. Beat the guts right out of you. That's 40 kilometers, 41 kilometers back to the truck. That's going to take a couple of hours. And then it's an hour home on the highway. Tommy on loads everything. Okay, so I'm, I'm probably not going to shoot any more videos on the way back. I actually got seasick a couple of times this morning because of all the bumps and dips. It's just brutal. Oh well. It's worth it to find out what the hell is going on. Alright, we're back. It's uh, 81 kilometers today. It just took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take to make it back here. I'm busted up. So my uh, knee on this side, Charlie horse, ankle, my right wrist, my left wrist, and my thumb from, from squeezing that for 80 kilometers. The other side of that, all is well. Let's go load it up. So, uh, 280 kilometers in the truck and 150 kilometers on the bike it was a 450 kilometer weekend. And the truck, of course, you're towing a 1500 pound trailer and a thousand pound bike. We chewed through the tank of gas and that was our budget for the research for the weekend. Hopefully we'll raise enough to do it again next weekend. Have a great day, a great night. We'll see everybody tomorrow night for the regular show. God bless.